Oh, hi everyone. Today I thought I would look at the World of Warcraft model viewer.net. Let's look at the program. <laughs> I was trying to create my uh, druid, which is actually a uh, character in the Burning Crusade at the moment. And I came across this shirt, which is actually part of the files, uh, which is war paint, a kind of shirt. Not good for the ladies. <laughs> NYI. See, your first mistake was going to Sonic for advice on women. Or as I call them, the ladies. Um, war paint shirt. Not good for the ladies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's some really cool items in the WoW model viewer. To move around, you can press the left button and you can kind of drag your character or whatever, left and right. And if you want to move it up and down, you can right click and just move it up and down. I love those hooves, man. So anyway, this is, um... There's lots of, um, good options. Oh, I should probably stress that the latest version of this is, um, slightly unstable. And they kind of admit that. So, for example, if I wanted to save my character, I could go here and I could go, um... Let's, um, override that. So now my character's saved and I can load it up in this state. So you can actually play dress up with um, your character or whoever you want to. Let's find a nice shirt for her. Tuxedo shirt. I don't know, it's a bit formal, but why not? She looks a bit like Colonel Sanders, actually. <laughs> Working. <laughs> That's what they want. You do notice there are um, a lot of differences in stuff like text of quality, for example. That's kind of cool, actually. Kind of like that. But you can zoom in and it looks very, very nice. There's um, not very much anti aliasing going on around the objects. And especially when I zoom out, I don't quite know how to actually turn that on. Um, I mean, the way I think you would do it is you would go to options, settings, and you go to display, for example. At the moment, it's 32 depth, 48 alpha. You guys can see, you can just zoom in. Oh my gosh. Look at that torrent teeth, man. Wow, it actually has a teeth and tongue. <laughs> Jeez, that's kind of scary. The other cool thing in here that you can do, I'm going to zoom out before I... Uh, before we pass out, is you can choose different animations. So, for example, um, stun, uh, or whatever you want. There's absolutely loads of these, and you can select nearly any character who's ever been in the game, obviously, if they're in the files, and you can basically make them do whatever you want. Oh my god, I'm falling, help me! <laughs> oh, we should probably get her some trousers on. Wow. Wakey wakey. Some um, messing with her snoot. Why? The other thing you can do is you can export GIF sequences. Uh, yeah, you probably want transparency on. The other settings, um, PNG doesn't work at the moment, I don't think. Um, you can actually resize this as well, but don't resize it too big because otherwise it will kind of break again export an AVI. One thing I've noticed is um, if you export an AVI and it doesn't actually do it, export a GIF first, then it will. There's a little tip. Just save that uncompressed. And it will literally capture from the screen here. So uh, let's open the AVI that we just exported, see what it does. Here we go. Like I say, it actually looks a bit like trash. But what I'm thinking of possibly doing is bringing this into an editor and smoothing it out and then basically sharpening it again and it should hopefully get rid of a lot of the nasty edges. I don't know. Um, maybe this is something we can work on at a later date. <laughs> there are some really cool skyboxes and stuff in here too. There's all kinds of uh, effects. Like, I don't know what, what this one is quite, but it looks really cool. Got all the little pixels flying down and stuff, so... Yeah, and I've got no idea what this is, but 
It's really nice. Again, this looks kind of magical, you know? Like a whale imagine looking up at the sky in Warcraft somewhere and seeing all these magical textures and things. Oh, what's this one? No. So we see a lot of stuff in here from years and years of Blizzard making cool games. Well, specifically Warcraft. Wow. I don't know what that is, but that looks amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a whole freaking planet, man. Nice. Anyway, guys, I um, highly recommend if you kind of like this kind of stuff. It's really worth going and taking a little look for yourself, seeing what you can find. Oh my god, this looks like um, Outland almost. Um, let's just reset the camera. Okay. Don't you think, guys? This look actually looks like Outland. Maybe it is Outland. The skybox. Let's just get in the middle of it and uh, go down a little bit. Hey, it is! Oh, jeez! Yeah, nice, man. Obviously, it doesn't have all the rendering and stuff, but... Um, Basically, if you don't know what a skybox is, it's um, it kind of surrounds the character and all the other terrain is rendered first and the skybox is kind of rendered behind it, so you kind of get these amazing effects and stuff. Oh, I don't know what these are. Anyway, I won't spend too long exploring, guys. Let's go have a look at a few other characters, I think. That's really nice. Now, bear in mind, generally, oh my gosh, I think I recognize this. No way. I could be completely wrong, but this looks a bit like the uh, crazy textured misty stuff above Serpentine Cavern. I'm probably wrong on that, but wow. That's kind of cool, whatever it is. <laughs> oh man, this is probably good. That'd make a pretty decent screensaver, actually. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Anyway, let's go look at character. This guy's kind of cool. Ancient of War, diseased. See, so can we make him do anything fun? Oh no, he's dying! Wow, he can swim, apparently. And walk backwards. <laughs> As you guys can see on the left here, there is an absolutely enormous amount of files which you can look at. This guy's amazing. I'm just picking him out literally at random. Baby Beholder. Oh! I think it's kind of cute. Oh, I did find a way of making the graphics slightly better. So if you go to Options, Settings, um, and then Display, I've gone for Color 32, Depth 24, Alpha 0, FSAA 16 double buffer hardware mode. It look, makes it look a little bit better actually and it gets rid of some of those nasty edges on some of the characters. So I did make it look a bit better which is nice. What the hell? Oh my god it's an octopus. Bat cloud. Let's look at the bat. Bat mount. Yes. Very nice. Oh my god. Jeez, look, this is um so badly low poly compared to the others. And if you want to see like the polygons and stuff, you can actually go to lighting. Um uh, render light objects, is it? Um or anyway, there's so many settings that you can play around with, guys. 
Uh, you can change the background colour, put in a skybox, um, show model controls. If you want to see the wireframe, for example, in um, show model controls, you can just press it and look. These are polygons, by the way. This guy is um, seriously simple. <laughs> Probably from the original game, I should imagine. You want to see the bones? Like how it moves and stuff? <laughs> That's pretty good to know. Um, particles. There are no particles. So, yeah, let's look at a different model, for example. Broker. I don't know what broker is. Oh my god, that's a cool guy. You can see the bones of this guy. Very nice. Wireframe. A little bit more complicated. That's a cool pattern, actually. Anyway, I'll probably leave the video there. But if you want to have a go at this, then I highly recommend it. You can uh, go and uh, create your own cool animation or something. <laughs> So I'll leave it there, guys. I'll uh, speak to you soon, and goodbye.